The Baylor Bears find themselves in hot water heading into the 2024 season. Head coach Dave Aranda on the hot seat himself. After a disappointing 3-9 and record last year, with promising start in 2021, I believe with 10 to 11 wins, and the Baylor Bears find themselves in some trouble. Transfers, new coaches, and much more. We're heading to Waco, Texas to give you an inside report on the Baylor Bears. I'm Nathan Johnston, here with my co-host Brad Hopkins. It's time to break the huddle. Brad, a lot of moves going on in Waco, Texas this time of year. A lot of new coaching hires. Unlike some programs that we've discussed, a lot of transfers. Let's start off with the head coach, Brad, with Dave Aranda, and, and we'll move into the assistant coaches. What are your thoughts on Dave Aranda heading into the 2024 season, and can the Baylor Bears, especially with Texas and Oklahoma leaving, turn it around in the Big 12 and become a top contender once again? Yeah, Nate, Dave Aranda is an interesting story. Of course, his first year in Waco was the very, very strange 2020 COVID season um, that, you know, he went to in seven, but, uh, you know, it's hard to judge with that 2020 season, 2020 season, excuse me. And then in 2021, it looked like, hey, Baylor is going to have no problem transitioning from Matt Rule to Dave Aranda. They went 12 and two, won the Big 12 championship, beat Ole Miss in the Sugar Bowl. And everyone's thinking, hey, Baylor, Baylor's here to stay. I mean, Baylor, Baylor's a good program that's underrated, but everyone's thinking Baylor's here to stay. A letdown in 2022 where they they went six and seven, but we're still competing. And then um, 2023 was bad. Three and nine, upset by Texas State in the opener, and, and you know it made it just wasn't good. You know they they lost their last five, some close losses in there, and then some blowouts. Dave Aranda, I would say for you know the Big 12, he is the coach on the hot seat. He is going to be mentioned all throughout you know, the, the, this preseason leading up to the season is, you know, one of the probably 10 coaches on the hot seat this year. So it's a very, very critical year for him. I want to hit on two things, and, and I'm going, you know, I'm going to the offensive side of the football here. Uh, Baylor is breaking in a new offensive coordinator in uh, Jake Spavadol. He's a guy, he, he's young, he's 38 years old, but I tell you what, quite accomplished, Nate, for, for being such a young coach. A lot of people are going to remember him. He had the chance to coach Johnny Manziel for, for a season uh, in College Station, transitioned to, to Cal and was at West Virginia and eventually became the Texas State head coach where uh, it wasn't, wasn't great, but he is making his move back to the state of Texas and, and is, I, I would say, a good play caller. Now, to, to go against the big boys in, you know, the state of Texas, like the Texas Longhorns, like Texas A&M, of course, the SEC schools are coming down there, and, and Oklahoma. It's tough for Baylor. Baylor has to has to find it. Um, you know, they're going to have to. You know, they, they've been you know relying on some you know diamonds in the rough and, and the transfer portal. Um, and you know, it's it's not easy to win there in Waco. Nate, the one guy I want to focus on is quarterback Daquan Finn. He transfers from Toledo. A very very good career for him. You know, twenty twenty three saw him throw for. Uh, 2,600 yards, 22 touchdowns to nine picks. He can run the football. He 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 ran for seven touchdowns. So this is a guy that uh, he's he's got to have a good season for for Baylor to you know um, get back to to have a winning record and, and keep uh, Dave Aranda um, out of the hot seat. So Nate, it's going to be interesting in Waco. I I don't know that this time next year uh, we're going to be talking about Dave Aranda. I think that they easily could uh could be breaking in a new coaching staff, but um. Nate, I, the, the, my my one final comment before I give it back over to you is the Big Twelve is very very wide open with with the new teams coming in with Texas and Oklahoma leaving. I don't think we quite know what to expect out of the Big Twelve. So hey, Baylor may be uh may be ready to take it over. We'll see. It's going to be fun though. Yeah, Brad. So to start off with, I think Dave Aranda. I think he's going to turn this program around. I really do. Jake Spavadol <laughs> bringing in a guy like him with the knowledge he has, the experience he has. This is, this is a home run hire for the Baylor Bears, in my opinion. We all know that Dave Veranda is a defensive mindset guy. He was the D.C. at LSU during their magical run with Joe Burrow in the 2019 season. He gets hired at Baylor as the head coach. 2020 wasn't his best effort. First year, give him some credit. 2021 comes out and upsets Oklahoma and knocks them out of the playoff. I mean, that, that was the run that I remember from the Baylor Bears, and since then it's just all been downhill. Part of the reason – has been because their offense has been lackluster. Look, they only averaged, I think, under 20 points per game last year, ranked 70th in the FBS. So they fired their their offensive coordinator, Jeff Grimes. They bring in Spavadol. 
And look, this is a guy, as I mentioned, with much experience. He coached guys like Brandon Whedon, Case Keenum, Geno Smith, Will Greer, and Johnny Manziel, to name a few. That's a pretty dang good list. And look, when we saw Will Greer at West Virginia, he turned his career around. When we saw Case Keenum at Houston, he was a firepower. When we saw Brandon Whedon at Oklahoma State, we saw him turn a baseball career into a football career and get drafted. We've seen multiple quarterbacks get their careers turned around. And you mentioned a guy like Daquan Finn coming in from Toledo. This is a guy that we talked about a couple of times, Brad, last year in our in our game day pickums. Now we get to see him at the higher level. I'm, I'm really excited to see what he can do for the Baylor Bears. Very dynamic guy, can can run and throw very well. Finished off the year last year, ranked 42nd in QBR in the FBS with 22 touchdowns and only nine interceptions, over 2,600 yards. Another guy that I want to point out in the transfer portal, they lost a big tight end in Drake Dabney, 6'5", 248 pounds. That's a big loss. So what does Baylor go and do? They go and pull a guy like Michael Trigg out of the portal from Ole Miss. A lot of you don't remember Michael Trigg. Didn't have the best season last year. Only had four receptions for 65 yards and one touchdown. But this guy made a major impact at USC the year before in 2022 with 17 receptions, 156 yards, and three touchdowns. I think this is a guy that could really bolster that Baylor offense and get them back on track. One more hire that I want to mention, and that is new offensive line coach Mason Miller just hired yesterday. This is a home run hire. We always talk about some of the smaller hires, Brad. We always, we always kind of nitpick and get into the details of things, right? We can talk about the office coordinators. We can talk about the head coaches. But I really like talking about position coaches, Brad. And Mason Miller is just that guy. Has a lot of experience in the air raid offense. Coached under Mike Leach and Hall Mume, to name a few. This guy has the experience as well. Former offensive coordinator at, at Tarleton State, who happens to be the home opener for the Baylor Bears. So he's going to be coaching against his former school from last year. I found that to be very interesting as well. But if you're a Baylor Bear fan, you have to be excited about this upcoming season. I understand there's a lot of speculation. There's a lot of, you know, a lot of talk going on amongst the, the boards and the, and the different sports chats around the nation. But Dave Aranda is your guy. Dave Aranda is sturdy. He's very stoic. He knows what he's doing. And I think with the additions of the new offensive coordinator and Jake Spavadol and the new offensive line coach, Mason Miller, I think Dave Aranda is going to be able to take his hands off of the offense completely, trust those guys with their experience, because let's face it, with the amount of experience they have, they're pretty much head coaches at a smaller level, right? When you're an offensive coordinator at the higher level for that long, I think he's going to be able to focus more on the defensive side, Brad. And I think that's going to be the game changer for this year heading into the 2024 season. Now, it's not going to be easy. They got a lot of a lot of tough games coming up at Utah, at Colorado to name a couple. I won't get all the way into it, but those are just a couple to name a few. It's going to be very intriguing to see what the Baylor Bears can do this year in the Big 12. But make no mistake, Dave Aranda is capable of getting the job done. And the Baylor Bears are still in the hunt for the Big 12 next year. Let us know in the comments what you think about the Baylor Bears heading into the 2024 season. And especially if you're a Baylor Bears fan, let us know if you think Dave Aranda is the right guy for your program.